The number one is Dewalt DW7440 rupees. The DeWalt DW7440RS allows you to get set up in a flash, as the folding legs have quick release levers and the brackets on the stand let you attach your saw in seconds. It minimizes the amount of time wasted during the day, helping you to finish jobs ahead of schedule. This product is available on Amazon for $164. There are 1017 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.8 stars, a customer said. This thing is awesome. Sets up in seconds, lightweight, and sturdy whether you have it set up on the legs for cutting or are storing your saw on the side stand. The wheels are huge and roll over any terrain with ease. If you use this with most any table saw you'll be able to mount it in seconds with the included hardware. My saw took a little extra effort. I use it with a Flexvolt cordless the mounting holes in the Flexvolt saw are too small for the provided bolts, and the holes are angled slightly inward. You could drill them a bit wider, but I just used some slightly smaller bolts 6 mm. I used some beveled washers to compensate for the angle of the holes. I also saw a YouTube video of someone who drilled entirely new holes through the plastic feet. This solves the whole size, angle, and positioning issues all at once. Personally, I'm fine with it positioned to the left, the stand is still completely sturdy and I use the space to the right to mount a storage box for the charger, battery, and extra blades. I'm a Milwaukee guy and this saw and stand are the only. Another happy customer said, Oh yeah, this is the cat's meow. I came across a heck of a deal on the DeWalt portable table saw about a year ago and have been using a platform type ladder to set it on which kept it at a good height for working. I've had a few back surgeries so I was looking for something that I could use with it that wouldn't require a lot of lifting. The saw itself isn't very heavy but there are some days that it's almost impossible to lift it much less carry it any distance. This saw stand took care of all of that. My wife bought it for me for my birthday and I couldn't be happier with it. It was easy to put together. The directions seemed a little vague but once I noticed that the front and rear of the stand were marked on the labels, it wasn't difficult at all to put together. The Allen wrenches were supplies and I put it together in my living room while watching TV. The saw mounted right to it and yet it's easy to remove it when I don't need the stand or when I'm hauling it somewhere. The An unhappy customer said Stand height is a bit low, so depending on how tall the saw or tool you are going to mount on it, the working surface height may also be too low for comfortable work. Update, I mounted a DCS7485 Flexvolt 60 volts max table saw that I store indoors and then roll out to the garage or outside for use, very mobile configuration. When done, fold up the stand, stand on end, and clean it off with a leaf blower to remove the sawdust, before rolling it back into the house. Pro, very stable when assembled, rear legs project farther back than the front legs slant forward, giving you a wide base of support, great if the workspace is flat, level. Not so good when the terrain is uneven. Good solid feel when feeding in boards for ripping. When folded up and upright, vertical, kickstand still feels solid, not worried about saw and stand tipping in either direction. Major Pro, after mounting the brackets on the saw to attach, it is very easy to remove the saw and transfer to a bench or tabletop, and the rubber cushions prevent the saw from then sliding around. Con, not as easy to use as the. The second product is. WEN MSA 330 The WEN MSA 330 offers three onboard 120-volt outlets, enabling you to plug your saw or other tools directly into the table. The support arms can extend to 79 inches, so you can get 10-foot pieces of lumber on it without much difficulty. The price is around $107, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 172 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.7 stars, a customer said.
There is a review on here that incorrectly says this is not useful as a hand truck, but I completely disagree. If you properly balance the saw in its closed and locked position by adjusting the location of the saw before tightening the four mounting screws, this stand would be balanced and would work perfectly as a hand truck. I did enough research to confirm for myself that there are no other available rolling stands with 700 plus LB capacity, roller arms, and power outlets for $108. I have two complaints, but neither of them is a deal breaker and would have no problem recommending this to a friend. 1. The middle outlet is blocked by the extension arm when the arm is all the way in. I just use one of the other plugs for the miter saw. 2. One of the four legs does not perfectly line up with the adjacent leg when folding the table for transport. This makes it a little tougher, tighter to fold the leg. I may or may not eventually bend the hinge with a pair of pliers to fix this. Another happy customer said, The first thing you should notice is the dual tube extensions. This is twice the support of the single square tube designs and because it is spread out about 6 inches, makes the support much more stable and has zero want of twisting. Each tube has its own set screw handle too. The stock support rollers are what we call in the engineering world, very meaty, with a good design along with the simple permanent step that you use for a material bump stop. The handy outlet is an off-the-shelf triple plug and mine actually came with an extension cord. The wheels are decent and are held onto a solid shaft with an E clip instead of lesser quality means. The saw mounting is simple and clamps fast as well as solid. The clamp action is very easy work with a mounted saw and the clamping action is actually adjustable for wearer preference. You can also simply pop the clamp handles up, slid it either way to give you more length on either side and pop the handles back down. The legs are sturdy, one has an adjustment to even the stand out on the floor and the. An unhappy customer said. When folding the legs up, they hit each other, making it difficult to get all four to lock in place for transit. When rolling it, the saw tends to slide down the track, crushing the plastic knobs for the side rail. The side rails interfere with the carrying handle, so you have to raise and lower the right guide to put the thing away. The guide also prevents you from getting your hand all the way around the handle when moving the thing. The wheelbase is a little narrow, leading to the saw tipping over easily when rolling over uneven ground. I'm replacing this with the Tough Built TBS 600, which looks like it will address most of these issues. And it will allow me to store the saw vertically and save some storage space. The number 3. DeWalt DWX 726. You can raise or lower the DeWalt DWX 726 with ease, as the pneumatic assist lifting system offers you three different working positions. Anyone with strength or mobility issues will appreciate how painless it is to find a suitable height in just a few seconds. The price is around $199, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.8 stars from 1353 customer reviews, a customer said. I've used this for a few years for various wood projects. I've also cut a lot of siding with it by reversing the blade. I like everything about it but it could be better. The biggest design flaw I see is with the rollers. The height adjustments and knobs don't bother me. The problem is the location. They slide out right in the center. If you mount any DeWalt chop saw to it, the back wall guide will also be right in the center of the saw. This makes the back half of the roller widths completely worthless. The rollers are 12 inches wide. The matching DeWalt DWS 779 chop saw can cut 12 inches widths. Say you are cutting a long 2 by 12. This means that the entire width of the board is trying to stay balanced by just the front half 6 inches of the roller. 
and the 6 inches of the roller isn't supporting the board right in the center, it's supporting it by the edge of the board. If you try to move the board around and are not careful it's going to slip off the roller. They should have made it the rollers slide out more towards the front of the. Another happy customer said. I ordered this item for our shop at work. We received it yesterday and I put it together, sans instructions, they were not in the box. It was not difficult. Oddly enough, I couldn't get the stand to go from the open position to the closed position. I looked through the reviews and saw that many people were having this problem as well, that's when I found the instructions in a PDF on this page. I noticed that some people posted ugly comments about user error and things of that nature. I found, however, that the locking mechanism wasn't actually working quite right. When you're looking at the rails under the stand, you will find a black plastic piece that looks like a Y. Pop it off. Don't worry, it goes right back on. Check and make sure the tension is tight enough on your cable. If there is too much slack, this can cause it to not undo the latch. I had to loosen lefty Lucy. I turned them both counterclockwise, the nuts on either side of the yellow piece of metal that the cable runs through also, on either side there is a lever that is operated by springs. An unhappy customer said, Box dropped and package pretty much destroyed. Opened up and discovered no hardware to assemble, no instructions. Tried to put together best I could. Table up all the way and will not go down. Checked cable linkage to no avail, will not go down. Really disappointed with purchase. Wished I had bought locally, paid a little more but wouldn't have all the hassle to get things right. The next product in our list is Rigid AC 9946. The Rigid AC9946 can be adjusted without the need for any tools, limiting the amount of gear you have to take with you on a job. That also enables you to make any necessary changes quickly, so you don't have to stop cutting for very long. This product is available on Amazon for $217. This product has average 4.4 stars from more than 30 customer reviews, a customer said. Much as others have noted, the assembly instructions are a bit wanting, however it's possible to intuit the final result with the benefit of the photos. It's just a little clunky on fold up, but not onerously so. It's pretty stable and the large wheels are a plus. It supports my 12-inch DeWalt 790 miter saw adequately, which installed on the arms with ease. Overall, it's about as good a compromise between function and form as one might desire. It seems to be perpetually on sale, so the list price is somewhat of a joke. It's not bargain basement even then. Get yourself one if you want utility and convenience at a moderate price, set it up and go. Now, careful with those fingers. Another happy customer said, I think this is a great stand. It took me a while to put together but I am in my late 60s so that is not surprising. It also works fine as a base for a basic shop saw and is easy to wheel back into the garage. For a substantial stand it has quite a clean and narrow profile. I couldn't add my new mater saw to it as the holes relating to tightening it down did not allow me to insert bolts were not lined up for that saw. I was a bit disappointed as it is advertised for all saws. Luck of the draw. Still, have to say that it is well made. The only problem I encountered was one tube opening to take the handle was a bit flattened transit at the company, so the round end part of the handle would not insert. I just pounded it out and the handle slid in. All in all, very happy. An unhappy customer said, Everything use good and strong. 
I was missing some nuts and bolts and one of the rubber feet that's why I only gave it 3 stars otherwise it would have been 5. The next one is Powertech Mount 4009. The Powertech MT4009 isn't the sexiest option on the market, unless you find pure utility sexy, that is. It's a very basic model, but one that's, nevertheless, fairly versatile, as the steel benchtop plates can be adjusted to accommodate a variety of board sizes. This product is available on Amazon for $150. The average rating of this product is 4.4 stars with more than 53 customer reviews, a customer said. This is the second one that I bought in two weeks. I mounted my 10 inches table saw on the first one and will be mounting my 12 inches planer on the second. Easy to set up or take down. I no longer use my workshop for sawing, planning, etc. as it leaves sawdust on everything. I cut everything outdoors and these folding stands with wheels are a blessing. Another happy customer said. This is one of the things I should have bought 10 years ago. I have a compact rigid table saw, which has a handle and wheels to make transport easy but it is either work on the ground or a bit of a time chore setting up two saw horses with planks, or the folding table, securing it, so, I decided to order this cart. So happy I did. There are a couple reviews that say it is not compatible with rigid compact table saws. Rest assured it is compatible. The saw stand may be one inch too narrow, but it is a simple fix because you can adjust the feet on the saw. Three things, greater than the rear feet on the table saw need to be rotated 180 degrees, unscrew, rotate the two halves, refasten, greater than adjust the plates on the stand to line up with the holes, as instructed, greater than you need four bolts and nuts and locking washers, that will fit the diameter hole of the feet that are long enough to pass through the thick feet. Since I did not have that size on hand, it required a trip to the hardware store and $6. The folding mechanism has worked fine, but I... An unhappy customer said, Had to send two of these back because the plastic brackets for the material support arms were broken upon arrival, making it impossible to lock them in place and support your lumber, since they're underneath the frame, the broken brackets are the only thing supporting the extensions. The legs don't work very well, either. It's not a bad design, just incredibly poorly executed. The first one, one of the legs wouldn't work properly, the lever wouldn't retract the locking button, the second one had all the same problems, except it was three of the legs. Spend your money elsewhere. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.